Hey guys, it's Michaela, and today I'm going to walk you through how to get a custom alarm sound on your iPhone. It's pretty quick and simple, so let's jump in. The first thing you want to know is that you need two different apps if you don't already have them. GarageBand, which comes on your phone. If you don't have it, just re-download it for free on the Apple or the iTunes Store. And then also Ringtone Maker, which is this app right here. Also free. You don't have to sign up for anything. You can just download the app from the App Store and you'll be good to go. So once you have those both, what we're going to do is find our sound we want. I usually find all my sounds on TikTok when I'm looking for um, new ringtones or alarm sounds. So once you find the sound, let's just say I want Peaches, the Justin Bieber song. I go, I find the sound. I go to whatever video, you know, that has that part of the sound that I want. So this video I'll say, and then we're going to sand it or save it by hitting the send button and then hitting save. And once it's saved, you're good to go. You can go into your Ringmaker app. And click on that. From here, this page is going to show up once you log into the app. Um, and you would hit the plus sign at the top right. And then hit import from videos. And just click on that video with the TikTok sound that you wanted. Hit done. It will automatically save up there at the very top. So we're going to hit that eye icon and then hit make ringtone. And then we're going to hit GarageBand. All right, so once you're on GarageBand, once it reopens, all you have to do, I'm going to scroll in so you can see, is hold down on that sound, on that song, and then this options will pop up. And what you want to do is scroll down past rename because share is right underneath there. And we go ahead and click on share. Then this page will show up and you want to hit ringtone, which is right in the middle. From there, we're going to go ahead and see this whole page. But we are going to either, if you want to change the ringtone name so you can organize it by just double clicking it and retyping in your name. I, go, I went ahead and did that with Peaches and then hit export right there and you'll be good to go. So once that sound is exported, all we have to do is go to our alarm clock. So we can just go up here, clock, toggle over to alarm, and then set your alarm. And then once you have done that, you hit edit, click on that alarm. Underneath label, there's sound here. You can just hit that. And uh, mine's already set to peaches because that's the ringtone. But all of those sounds that you save and make are going to be right there at the very top. So your custom sounds will be here. And you just click it. You, go back, you can save. And there you go. Your ringtone is custom and set. If you guys have any questions on that, let us know in the comments below. If not, don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe.